The drop shot is a proven fish catching technique in the world of bass fishing today. I want to show you my four favorite ways to rig this thing. The first way I like to rig it is a traditional nose hook style. The second way is a wacky style. I use a Texas style drop shot setup and then I use a power drop shot where I'm actually fishing the thing on a seven and a half foot flipping stick with 17 pound fluorocarbon. Okay, first off, we're gonna do the nose hook. Real simple, it's just like it says. I'm gonna take the drop shot bait. You know, this, this case, I have a warning shot and I'm going to just simply put it right in the nose of the bait, just like that. It's hooked right in the nose of the bait. Traditionally, I'm fishing this style, open water rock piles and very sparse grass areas. The next rig I wanna do is the wacky style rig. Now here, this one, the wacky style is just what it says. I rig it wacky, okay? So almost right in the center of the bait. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking my yum dinger and I'm putting it right in the center of the bait, right through the hook, wacky style. This rig also gets fished in more open water situations and very sparse grass. The third rig is my Texas style drop shot. Where I'm drop shotting, usually I drop shot a finesse worm, something along, you know, slender bodied worm. I'm throwing this in the grass and in the cover. Now this one's rigged on light line. This is just a regular Texas rig drop shot. And it's a real simple way to rig it. You just rig it Texas style on the hook I like to text pose the hook, and that's it. Nice and straight on the hook shank, perfect, you're done. Throw it in the cover and let it do its job. Now, the last thing I wanna show you is the power drop shot rig. I'm using a Magnum Finesse Worm. This is a giant bait, 17 pound fluoro, seven and a half foot flipping stick. This is a workhorse pitch it right in the heaviest cover, the heaviest grass areas, and let it do its job. It's a phenomenal technique and overlooked by a lot of anglers. This can put a lot of extra fish in your boat. These are my four favorite ways to rig a drop shot rod. It covers every situation that you're gonna encounter when you're drop shotting.